Yeah, um, great team win. It always feels great to uh, get a win against your rival. Uh, game went about what we thought it would be, back and forth, and they made plays, we made plays. They missed opportunities, we missed opportunities. That's kind of what rivalry games are all about. But um, this was a big game for, for us to, you know, finish on a good note for the season going into the bowl and and uh, having an opportunity to continue on this winning streak. So that being said, questions? We're chasing your team there late in that fourth quarter whenever you turn it around. I just think good football teams, they know when you're hitting, you know, time's starting to dwindle down. And we talk about get to the last five minutes. But, you know, when it hits the fourth quarter, you know you got to kick it into high gear. And just felt like as a team we, we started to really start to gel and gain momentum. and. You know, had a big stop on defense, and then they had a uh, fake punt that we stopped, so we were able to get great field position to be able to go score. And then, uh, you know, when, when we weren't doing good offensively, defense was, you know, making sure they didn't score, which kept us in the game. And then we got our opportunities in the fourth quarter, you know, late in the third and then fourth quarter to try to go get on top of them. I know you'll say, you know, both teams had to deal with it, but how much did this weather today play a factor in this play? Yeah it, it, yeah, it always plays some factor, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's football. You just got to go out there and play. And I think early it changed a little bit of your play call. Not a lot. You know, just you got to be a little more particular about some of the things you might call. But, you know, as the game went on, the rain kind of left us, and we were able to get back into our normal play call and mode. They got a lot of pressure on Ty, and really were able to you know, set the tone from the line of scrimmage a little bit. I mean, See anything that you weren't expecting today, or just uh, no? It's getting in a rhythm. Like no, nah, I, I think you know you hit the nail on the head. It was a combination of I thought they did a nice job defensively. Uh, they covered us sometimes, so Ty had to hold the ball a little bit more. Um, once or twice, maybe we weren't in the exact you know the, a great protection scheme for for him. But I felt like as the game went on, we kind of finally found that rhythm and was able to make some explosive plays that you know led to touchdowns. Yeah, it's, it's huge. Uh, you know, we as coaches, that's kind of where your mind goes to when things aren't going good. All right, how do I get the ball to Lucky? How do I get the ball to Quinn? How do I get the ball to JP? And um, you know, we had the ball across midfield there, right on first down after a big stop, and then was able to hit the shot to Quinn. was a huge play, and then uh, he turned around, makes a touchdown catch back to back, and you know, Lucky's touchdown was huge again. So, you know, you look for your seniors, your, your playmakers, when when your back's against the wall, and those guys really stepped up for us. It feels like Quinn's last two games, he's really stepped up. It's kind of been a year where you know, maybe the ball's not going to him as much early on. Just what has changed, just with him, or just the connection between the and Ty? Your mm -hmm. that's made him that sort of a target now. I think a combination of things. One, you know, uh, Quinn's a, a big body receiver. He's a good deep ball catcher. Those kind of things and and just somehow the ball wasn't finding him but like you said you know the past couple of weeks we've been able to to make it happen and um you know but you want to be at your best at the end of the season i'm glad he's finally now you know starting to see those big plays going to him and he's really stepped up i mean he the, the two catches he made were huge so um really helped us win the game for sure how important is it to get those these last two conference games, you know, after the bye week, heading into the bowl game? Is, uh how much of confidence is that? It's good. I mean, it, it carries the momentum for us. Um, you know, you feel good going into the bowl. You know, it makes practice a lot better. You know, you you hate having a couple of weeks of practice coming off a loss. You know, you just have that sour taste in your mouth. So it just, you know, continues the good vibes, you know, and, and now you, you gain confidence more and more. And we'll see kind of where the bowl picture goes and what our matchup is. But, um, you know, whoever we play, they'll be a quality opponent. But I, you know, I'm just our team's playing good football, so it builds confidence going into your bowl game. Your defense gave up some yards in this game, but to get that fumble 
there late in the second half. I mean, how, how big was that play in the grand scheme? Huge. I mean, you look at the last three weeks, they've been able to create turnovers on critical situations, you know, two for touchdowns in the past two weeks. And then t again today, they came up huge on the on the turnover. So um, they've given us a lot of opportunities offensively to, to go make plays. And uh, But that's what good teams do. You know, you just kind of feed off each other. When one group's not doing good, the other group steps up and helps that group. And that's what I love about this football team. You know, they, they know it takes four quarters and they're willing to go out there and battle for each other. What you think about, about that 27-yard touchdown run by Ty? Yeah, run. yeah. No, it was great. Um, you know, they were bringing, and I said it earlier in the week, some of the pressures they bring are kind of exotic. You don't see a lot of them. They're kind of boom or bust defensive calls, you know, where it's either going to be them or us. And they were, they were bringing pressure off the edge, three guys off the edge, and leaves you weak in the middle a little bit. And if you don't hit it just right, you know, they're going to knock you for a five-yard loss. And, and we were able to hit it just right, and Ty was able to sneak up in there and, and make a huge, huge play. Play, so. Coach, we saw Gage go over 1,000 yards for this season. Like, what? I mean, after 12 games now, kind of evaluate how he's able to transition from BB into a 1,000 yard back. Yeah. Um you know, players just when they're given the opportunity, that, that number one is the job of, of a football coach to recognize that. Now, I'm not taking credit for it. Our whole staff was knew about Gage and knew he was an athletic guy, and we were talking about how do you maximize the talent that we have. And you know, back in the spring, we looked at him and said, "Hey, let's look at him at running back." And he showed that he could do it. And then the next step was trying to, to develop him for for what he brings to the table. And I felt like Coach Ellis, offense coordinator has done a tremendous job of putting him in situations and to do things he can do well um, and he's just been a just a steady eddie for us I mean he's just a guy that goes out there every week and gets you what you need to, to go win I'm very proud that he was able to get over a thousand yards today that was something I was hoping he could do what will you look back on and see about Ty just the way he progressed he didn't have that start at the beginning of the year so later and just the way that he's just been so reliable and consistent throughout the year and it seems like each week gotten either more efficient more versatile or things like that yeah um, so it's just a lot about the type of man he is and the character he has and you know that's what that's what good men do you know when things don't go your way initially you just keep grinding and you you kind of sit there and you wait your turn and uh you know god always has a plan you know i, I look back at uh, i said before sam darnold you know he was the guy that i think we were one and two at usc and he gets inserted and things change and um you know ty same way you know it's just a guy that if you, if you grind and you work hard and you wait your turn, usually good things happen. But he's kind of the – if your quarterback is somebody you, you just trust and believe in, you know you always have a chance to win the game, your team rallies around that and they believe in that. And uh, that's probably what's given us a lot of the momentum, you know, especially for our defense because they always know, hey, if we get the ball to the offense, they'll find a way, they'll get it done so long as ties the quarterback. And that's what a good quarterback does. That's what he brings to the table. Yeah, coaches, you still know you still have a full game left, but you know after 12 games, is this kind of how you expect your first season to go when you interview the team that yeah. was in the previous season? Um, I expect to win them all. I know y'all think that, but I really do. Uh, you know, I. You know, everybody says, did you think you'd be sitting here with eight wins? I hope I would. I hope I would. Um, very easily could have, ball could have bounced the other way, too, and, and not won several games, you know. But uh, that's all up to the good Lord. You know, my job as a coach and our, and our staff is to try to coach as hard as we can, put kids in positions to make plays. And, uh, you know, we, we took a big step this year to answer your question. You know, the ultimate goal here is to try to win a championship every year. It starts with that, and uh, I felt like we had a chance to maybe position ourselves to try to be in the conference hunt. And uh, so it gives us momentum going into next year to try to say, all right, let's ta now take another step. Let's let's go go win a conference championship. But uh, I hope we would have a, have a good season, uh, going to every game hoping we would win. Um, but at the end of the day, I'll sleep good because it's all in God's hands. So. What does this next week look like while you just wait? We'll hit the road recruiting. Uh, our whole staff will be out. It's a critical time for us these next two to three weeks. Early signing periods coming up. So this this whole week, our staff will be out recruiting. We got official visits coming in this weekend and the following weekend. When we get off the road this week, we'll start practice. 
uh, the guys will still work out and run. Uh, they'll do some PRP practices, some player run practices, just to doing football moves, you know, you know, football skills and those kind of things. And then uh, we'll get into bowl practice the following week. How do you assess your team's growth and your growth as a head coach to go from starting the season with a loss to an FCS team, now giving yourself an opportunity to triple your win total from last year? Yeah, um, you know, I. I Maybe the this is probably hard to say. Maybe the best thing that happened to us was the first loss. You know, I I felt like it gave us an edge, uh, made us not take anything for granted, uh, made us know that we had to play a whole game of full quarters. Um, it taught us to believe in each other and fight for each other and battle for each other. Um, it taught it taught us not to be complacent. Um, it taught us that at any given day, it doesn't matter who you play, you can win or lose. So, you know, at the end of the day, I look at it as probably maybe it was a positive. That's how I would look at it. But uh, now what I'd like to have won it, yeah, that would have been awesome. But, uh, um, you know, I don't look back at things that happened in the past. You've got to use them for good and try to take advantage of, of learning lessons. Learn, learn from all your failures. As long as you learn from them, then don't make the same mistake twice if you can help it. Any particular place you'd like to go? I would love to go to a warm weather bowl, number one, and I would like to play before Christmas. There's nothing better than that. Uh, that's not up to us, though. That's not up to us. We'll be happy wherever we go, um, and uh, our kids will be very, very happy to have an opportunity to play one more game one more time. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.